deal. So, it is time for us to face this Shark Croc thing? Shark Croc Godzilla thing? Then, begin! Thus, a training bell with the students of ours at school started with a bang. They were as skilled as we expected, and we were forced to play to our strengths, relying on the team tactics we honed by fighting together. Finally, after a long and hard battle, we emerged victorious. Why? Die already, would you please? I hate my life. I had him close that first time, but no. <sighs> we, we stand victorious. Wow. Did they seriously defeat Master Klaus? <laughs> I should have expected no less. It's been quite some time since I was a, I was last bested in combat. He doesn't even seem all that tired. I, I guess that's the acting master of our Sid's school for you. Ho oh, ho, oh, gracious me, what a thrilling battle. And your silver puppet was more challenging an opponent than I had anticipated, young lady. Well, there aren't many people out there who can handle Lammy swings as well as you did. And the Radiant Blade Master is supposed to be a whole different level. It, is, it sure is a big world out there. Well, that's true enough. Incidentally, Master Reed. Yes. It was an honor to see the skills of the practitioner of the Eight Leaves One Blade style firsthand. However, I cannot help but sense you holding something back. A wavering of your clear intent, if just for a moment. <laughs> holding something back? I... I thought so. I apologize if I said something... imparent. You didn't pay any mind to the ramblings of a foolish old man. No, I appreciate your saying so. I'll take it to heart. Huh? I don't get it. But anyway, I guess that means we've got this request all wrapped up, right? Certainly. Thanks to your assistance, this was a most fruitful, I mean, same thing, training session for everyone. Just being able to watch such an amazing fight got me all fired up. We're immediate, we're immensely grateful for all you've done for us. <laughs> Not at all. It was an honor. When we meet again, I'd enjoy the opportunity to have a training bout with you all myself. It would be our pleasure. We'll be sure to train to the fullest extent of our abilities. In the meantime, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> it's only been a few short months, but your growth has been considerable. I'm certain you have your fellow classmates at the academy to thank for that. When I see how well you fight together, I am filled with the deepest of admiration. <laughs> I agree. I think they're the reason I've been able to grow like I have. Even taking on this request has helped teach and strengthen me as well. Laura. <laughs> the day will eventually come when you're able to, to best me in single combat sooner than you think of that. And you can be sure I'll continue devoting myself to training and pursuing my goal. I'm very much looking forward to it. I wish you all the best of best with your field study here in Wagram. May it be a rewarding and fulfilling experience. As butler to the RZ household, I'll be praying for your success. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. A strength into radiant waltz. I didn't know S crafts could strengthen. But damn, that was a pain. Like, I cannot believe it. Makes me worry about how that end boss for this chapter is gonna be. Oh, jeez. Well, we're pretty much done, so we just have to leave now. We've done all our requests. Ah, the fog is cleared. Ooh, look! It's almost evening already! The sun sets the sky makes for a very picturesque view, don't you think? It seems that the mist has cleared somewhat. I would venture a guess that tomorrow will be a clear, sunny day. Anyway, we finished up all the main tasks we had for the day, so we should probably head back to the guild now. I'm sure Toval is curious how we fared out there. Sounds like a plan to me. Any changes in people around here? After we beat this chapter, it's only two more to go. And then we're done. We will be successful. A boat? Ah! Oh, there's a boat on the wharf! And that's the ferry liner. It returns to the wharf every evening. Well, he's just crewman. Why should I care? Oh, no, that's not the right one. This is the... Well, hold on. I don't think you kids have changed. Or... No. I don't think you... Wait. Yeah, this is... That's too short, so I know it's pretty much the same. I'm just worried about not getting that A0 for the class ranks, but I'm pretty sure because I didn't get many of the uh, things that I'll have to do everything again in New Game Plus, and if I miss anything, my god, I'm going to have to play this game a third time. Today was so much fun! Oh, hey, welcome back. Uh, seems my timing could hardly have been better. Huh? <gasps> ah. Father? When did you get back? When only Klaus came to greet us, I assumed I wouldn't be seeing you while I was in the Graham. <laughs> Fortunately, I was able to take some time away from my engagements to see you and your class. And while I was in town, I also had some business to attend to with the Guild, which is what brings me here. It does my heart good to see you again, Laura. It seems you've grown since I last saw you. This is the most weirdest hug I've ever seen. F father please don't treat me like a child, but it's good to be back. It's good to have you back. So that's the Radiant Blade Master. Laura's dad seems so cool. <laughs> she seems embarrassed, but I've rarely seen her so happy. Ah, these must be your friends. Right. These are my classmates from Class 7, and my partners in this field study. Then let me welcome you to Legram. I'm Viscount Arsaid, the ruling lord here. My daughter has told me all about you in her letters, so it's a pleasure to finally be able to put faces to the names. And then we will talk no more.
this is delicious. Oh, careful, Milliam. You're going to drip sauce all over the table. Wow, so this is real Graham cuisine. I think I like everything on the table. You can say that again. This fatty meat has me thinking past seconds and all the way to thirds. <laughs> That's roast wild boar. It's been a staple in many local dishes for generations. Is something troubling you, son of House Alborea? You seem to have brought your worries to the table tonight, but not your appetite. Well, it's just that I know my father has been causing you a lot of trouble. Useless. Is he? <laughs> oh, that. Just minor disagreements. You probably know it all too well. Conflicts over taxes among the nobility are as sure as the rising of the sun. It's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you for the kind words. But come, tell me of your day. I hear you fought Klaus this afternoon. And emerged victorious at that. We did, though I did feel like he was holding back against us. <laughs> Nonsense, my lady. You and your classmates fought with the boldness of young lions. I look forward to seeing your you soar to even greater heights. Ah, marvelous. I did have my hopes that you might choose to attend that girl's school in the capital, but you seem to have made excellent friends at Thor's. So perhaps this is how things were meant to be. I feel the same. Aura. Hmm. Green, was it? I'm curious. I can sense fear in your swordsmanship. A certain hesitation. What? Father? The sword hermit, Yun Kafai. In addition to being your master, and the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. He's also a personal acquaintance of mine. In fact, I've requested a duel with him on numerous occasions. I see. If you'll forgive me for asking, who is the victor? <laughs> the victor has yet to be decided. Pitting our respective philosophies against one another is such an engaging experience, we always lose track of time. To think there's a swordman out there capable of fighting on equal terms with you. The world truly is a vast place. I can hardly imagine what a duel like that would be like. <laughs> but getting back to what I was saying. The Eight Weaves One Blade School draws its influence from elements of several other Eastern schools of swordsmanship. The style's philosophy has such depth. It's not difficult to see why one who masters it is known as a divine blade. But there's something about you, Reen. Something that terrifies you so much that its mere shadow pins you in place. <laughs> He's almost certainly referring to... I've occasionally gotten that impression myself. So this is the burden Reen carries. Indeed, it seems like whatever happened in the old schoolhouse last month had something to do with it, but... You have me at a loss. I never would have imagined you'd be able to tell so much about me so easily. But thanks to that, I've made up my mind. What? Oh? My ward, I ask of you, as the Radiant Blade Master, would you grant me the honor of a duel? doesn't stand a chance. Receiving instruction from him would be one thing, but to duel a master like Viscount Arsade... Looks like the odds aren't in his favor, then. Reem, please reconsider. You too, Father. Stop this nonsense. Please, Laura, stay out of this. This duel is between Reen and myself. Stand aside. <sighs> 
Are you certain this is what you want? I am. It's an honor to have the opportunity to test my mettle against the renowned Radiant Blade Master. Thank you for accepting. I admire your spirit. Now, show me what a Swordsman of the Eight Leaves is capable of. What the? Wha Whoa! Amazing! You can wield such a massive blade so deftly with just one hand? <sighs> Unbelievable! That's Galan Sharl. A great sword that's been passed down in the Arsade family for generations. It was once wielded by the ancestor of our house. The second in command of the Eisenritter. I can sense incredible power within him. He may be even stronger than my master. Which means that against him... Green Schwarzer and the Eight Leaves One Blade School begin a rank. I stand ready. Victor S. Arsay, master and successor of the Arsade School. Ready. Whoa. Begin! Power just exploded out of nowhere. My turn. Oh, there's just no way we're winning this. Yeah. What the hell? Miss! Zero! Uh, uh, what, uh, oh no, wait! Don't do that! Oh. Never stood a chance. Uh. Ouch! Ouch! This is why I tried to stop them. I barely even see what happened. It's not like Reen is weak. It's more that his opponent's strength is so far beyond his. What are you doing? This duel is not yet over. To your feet, at once. Father? <sighs> I know you're capable of more than this. But if you are still too afraid to assert your true strength, then I have no choice but to force your hand. Come, show me! Green has moved. Disappeared? No. Too slow. Oh, there he is. He just sidesteps Green, even in demon form. Is this what Reen is afraid of? <sighs> Excellent. This is as it must be. This is the power that slumbers deep within you. As long as you continue to cower in the face of it, you'll remain forever at a standstill. <laughs> I want to see your true potential. Now. Oh boy. Now. Now. I doubt any of this will work. You will not escape. Now. Now. You will not escape. Ah, oh, crap. Well, Reen was still never going to win. Reen! Reen! Wow! That duel was crazy! Yeah. Though it all makes sense now. Why Reen asked the Viscount for a duel in the first place. You fool. Are you shouldering such a burden alone all this time? Are you all right, Reen? Father, there was no need to go that far. I'm fine. He held back. I admit defeat. I'm honored to have seen the Radiant Blade Master's signature technique. <laughs> I think you're finally starting to understand. 
What we call power is simply a measure of one's raw strength. Without knowing how to properly apply it, it has no real meaning. However, when you deny the power you already possess, you're only shortchanging yourself. You're right. I feel like I finally get what my master was trying to teach me about the laws of nature. But, I'm afraid understanding that is only going to make me even more uncertain. Reen. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Stand up, dust yourself off, and step forward. Grapple with that fear each day if that's what it takes. Uncertainty weighs on the hearts of all people. But it's far preferable to standing still. We're gonna see Celine now, because I know she was with us. I mean, we saw her on the train. Where is she this whole time? Where is she hidden? We're sleeping with the lights on? What are we, crazy? Seems that War and Emma aren't sleeping. seems to have cleared. So, that's the Saint's castle. You can't come out right now. Someone might notice you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. The Radiant Blade Master may be scarily perceptive, but I doubt he'll notice my little moonlit stroll. Honestly. Yeah, you might have thought I was what dumb. Do you think? I'm not sure how much we can count on the boy. It seems he's finally found what he needs to move past what's been holding him back. But I'm still not certain he's going to make it in time. That's not for us to decide. Our role is to watch over and guide him, nothing more. I don't want you to do anything like that ever again. Fine, fine. Setting that aside for now. What's the point of just putting voice? I'm sure you've already sensed it, but there's definitely something inside that castle. So pretty, for right now, for some reason, seems that Emma has to that watch over Reen. out of our jurisdiction, but I have a bad feeling about this one. Me too. I suppose all we can do is point Laura toward it and hope she notices too. Yeah, well, we're not going to deal with that right now, I'm afraid. But you might have thought it was dumb, game. I knew there was something up with Celine, even from the other event before. God, I'm looking at this, and I... I each time I look at this, I know I'm not going to make it until I go in a new Game Plus thing, because I've missed so many by now. 440 is the max. I've missed more than I really need. Keep up the good work! And it pisses me off just because of the training exercise and having to do everything again <sighs> not a fun thing whoa wow what a view Looking at the lake is like gazing into a vast mirror. I suppose that wharf you can see in the distance must be over in the southern Wyan Providence. I see nothing. I also see the screen freaking out up there. You see that? I can... You can see the Saint's Castle way more query today, too. So that... So this is what Graham looks like on a queer day. It almost seems like we're in a different town. <laughs> well, both faces of my of the town have a place in my heart. Hey, I'm sorry for all the fuss I caused yesterday. Reen. You really did. However, you did what you did out of nece necessity, correct? Yeah. Before yesterday, I've never been able to recognize the truth behind my master's teachings. But crossing swords with your father? It was like I finally realized what he wanted me to understand all these years. I see. In that case, I won't criticize what you did. I can understand that feeling struggling 
forward even in the face of adversity. <laughs> it seems the winds have granted you with their blessing. Still, Reen, I think you owe us an explanation. What was that power you displayed during the duel? I've never seen its like. It was so cool, like you suddenly turned into a whole different person. Almost like some kind of power that was locked up inside you came roaring out in one big flash. Yeah, I guess that's what it must be, must seem like. And this isn't going to be voiced? There's something, some beast-like insect sleeping inside of me. And when I completely lose control of myself, it just swallows me up, transforms me, somehow. I've known about it ever since I was a kid, and all my life, I've lived in fear of it, of that other self. It seems a strange burden to bear, something beast-like. I don't know, it seemed pretty cool. Besides, if it makes you even stronger, why not just be like that all the time? <laughs> I wish it were that simple. Years ago, I first asked my master to teach me the way of the sword in order to suppress that power. I thought if I could master the art of fighting, I could master my fear and quell those insects. But that did nothing to solve the underlying problem, and eventually, I ended up having my training discontinued. Pretty pathetic, huh? Oh, Reen. But you said that yesterday's duel helped you realize something, right? Right. I can deny- I can't- wait, what? I can deny it up and down, but doing that doesn't change the fact that it's in there somewhere. And unless I can accept that, I won't be able to reconcile myself with the past, or really think about my future. I mean, that sounds so simple, saying it now, but it took this long for me to realize it. Oh, ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Trouble seems to seek you out, doesn't it? So, you intend to accept your want and move forward, even though the way is anything but certain. <laughs> That's actually rather inspiring. I hope you'll tell Group B what you shared with us. I think they'd be really glad to hear it from you. Yeah, I think I will. I feel like everyone's been worried about what happened at the old schoolhouse last month. Hey, I heard the big news. You seriously dueled the Radiant Blade Master? <laughs> well, he was kind enough to give me the chance to test my skill against him. The gap between him and I is so wide that calling it a duel is being generous. Nah, don't sell yourself short. It takes some real guts to even think of trying to duel the Viscount. I know you've battled Sarah, and her strength is pretty intense, but he's on a whole different level. I can see you didn't achieve beginner rank in eight weaves one white school for nothing. Y you're surprisingly well informed. That's a bracer for you. Well, the guild has pretty close ties with the Eight Weaves One Blade School after all. Anyway, let me give you those tasks for the day. Yeah, just another monster. I would hope I already have the materials. And then we have a hidden one. I need to talk to a Cindy around here. Oh, I was expecting there to be more, I guess. I am rather curious about this monster extermination request. Didn't want to over overload you since I'm planning on giving you an extra task this afternoon. It sounds like this will be your last full day in Lagram, so I want to get the most out of you while I've got you here. Anyway, get on out there and and do what you want to do. Or what you do. Got it. No sense in waiting to get started then. Well, at least it shouldn't take long. Okay, let's roll on out. You know, 
with um, having to come back to this game for like New Game Plus to do everything again, it's just, God, it's just annoying to have to do everything again. Because it's kind of like I can understand it in like Tokyo Xanadu. Those ones are easy quests. But the ones in here, I wouldn't exactly say that they're that easy and quick. I don't think the person I'm even looking for is here, by the way. I'm looking for a Cindy. Even trying to platinum this game, it will still take me a while because I'll probably come back to this like... I don't know, I could platinum two before platinuming one. Anyway. Ouch, Dad really walloped me. Why do you have to flip out like that? All I did was borrow his cart. You know, we should probably just ditch the idea anyway. It did look pretty dumb. Man, that's what I was thinking too. You gotta tell me these things sooner so I don't look dumb doing it. He kinda told you. I told you. First we gotta find a good base. 